our next speaker is going to talk about this amazing technology that they're creating that's called Evmus, which you can read on the screen. And uh, you, you know, we all have, I ask a lot of people here, what's one of the main problems that we have in, in Web3 space, and that's adoption, that's user experience, that's all of those things. And one of the big problems is, uh, you know, let's say we're building an application, and it's on Gnosis, and uh, you use XDAI, of course, uh, to, to pay, or maybe some other token. And, but some of your potential users are on Polygon, some of them are on uh, Optimism or some other EVM-compatible chains. So you have to sort of approach all of them. So you have to deploy smart contracts on all of those networks. How do you do that? How do, they, uh, how do you then you know, reconcile the state from all of those different smart contracts? So a lot of problems like that. Uh, and uh, again, the end goal is to improve the user experience uh, here and give our uh, new Web3 users a smooth experience. And that's exactly what Federico is going to talk about. A round of applause. Oh, wow, it's bright here. Um, hey, um, my name is Federico. Um, I'm the co-founder of Atmos. For the ones who don't know me, I'm, I've been in the Cosmos ecosystems Cosmos ecosystem since 2017, where I joined on my career as a software engineer at Tendermint, uh, working on the Cosmos SDK framework uh, for building application-specific blockchains, then migrated into IVC, and uh, two years ago, I started working on Etherman, which we rebranded to Evmos. And today, I'm going to talk about what Evmos offers to decentralized applications in terms of interoperability solutions, how you can leverage Evmos to access the whole interchain ecosystem besides just the EVM environment that you're deployed in. So when we talk to applications, uh, they, we know that they can, these decentralized applications can seamlessly deploy on different EVM compatible chain because of the composability that the EVM environment provides, these money Legos that allows you to build on top of each other. And when we talk to these applications, most of them say that they're, in order to them to fully deploy to a new EVM-compatible chain, they're looking for traction in terms of users. They're looking for liquidity in terms of TVL and great community, help from the team, and especially developer revenue. Um, but the main complexity here when we talk to these decentralized applications and these teams is that they need to track and manage every single ecosystem that, are the, that they're deploying to. And that's why some of these teams also require um, a payout initially to uh, offset the initial deployment cost to fully integrate into a new EVM environment. But opposedly to a multi-chain DAP strategy, we think that in the future, this, uh, this strategy of deploying to multiple EVM compatible chains is not going to be able to scale because as we've seen, the number of EVM compatible chain has only been increasing so far. And so ideally, in the ideal world, you should only be deploying once to a chain and then connecting to all the other EVM compatible networks, interchain ecosystem, and other uh, ecosystems that are supporting interoperability solutions. So these, for example, if they deploy an Evmos, will be able to interoperate natively with the Cosmos and interchain ecosystem and also with the EVM ecosystem. This is what we call interchain composability, the um, functionality for these applications to grow up in terms of scale and allowing other chains to also interact with these decentralized applications, even though these other chains might not be um, EVM compatible. And so we went back to the problem of why these uh, developers are deploying on EVM as opposed to on Cosmos. Um, so a lot of new teams are preferring like EVM compatible chains because you have already the infrastructure. And building on a completely new environment is really high complexity. You might not know about the inner workings of the Cosmos SDK, the naming consensus. You also need to bootstrap your validator set and your community. And all, of course, all these integrations, getting all the explorers, the wallet integrations, et cetera, are really resource consuming. And of course, you also need to get all the business development effort to get the essential integration. You don't have the, any of the money Legos that you're used to in the EVM compatible ecosystem. So here's where uh, Evmos comes in. You can think of Evmos as the 
uh, uh, that offers the programmability and composability of the AVM environment that you find on, on Ethereum and other chains, plus the sovereignty and interoperability uh, that you can find on Cosmos, and especially the IVC ecosystem. So Evmos allows you to fully interoperate with other environments, plus also have the programmability, the uh, composability that you find on the EVM. So Evmos is a full interoperable and fast finality EVM chain that creates, aims to create long-term incentive alignment between developers, validators, and users. And we do that by offering a shared security model as well, uh, which in our view is going to be how applications will be able to scale from a shared state like the EVM into its, their own application-specific blockchains that are also EVM compatible without any loss of composability, without the need of redeploying any of the um, essential integrations like the block explorers, the uh, multisig environments, the Oracle providers, the indexers, etc. that you need in order for uh, the applications to only start deploying after those are fully deployed and integrated. So the first thing is, as, a, as you, as a decentralized application developer, you will first build and deploy on Evmos, get enough traction for your application by leveraging all the unique functionalities that Evmos offers and interoperability, and then ex exit Evmos into your own sovereign application-specific blockchain um, through shared security. So you don't need to bootstrap your own validator set. And then we'll do the same with other uh, applications in the ecosystem. And I'm going to go a little bit uh, deeper into what these mean in concrete. So why deploy on Evmos? Uh, there are multiple EVM environments. Why choose Evmos over um, any other EVM-compatible network? First of all, we're an IVC-enabled EVM. Um, we are connected to most of the uh, chains in the Cosmos ecosystem, but also via IVC, uh, via EVM bridges to most, more than 25 um, chains. Um, that also allows you more liquidity uh, flowing from other sources other than just e the local EVM environment that you're deploying. Um, low cost for users in transaction fees, but as we know, there are multiple chains that offer that. But we also offer new use cases for these applications. We also offer developer revenue that I'm going to talk about this in a second. And you can also expand the user base into Cosmos and the seamless user experience that we provide by merging these two ecosystems into a single user experience. So the Evmos EVM provides full EVM equivalence and also IVC. Uh, right now, we support IVC transfers. But in the future, um, other chains might be able to query um, decentralized application state. For example, if you deploy an uh, Oracle provider, other chains might use the Oracle provider that is deployed on the Evmos EVM, um, and then returning those queries into the other application-specific blockchains on the Cosmos ecosystem. Um, contract calls directly from other EV, uh, EVM and non-EVM environments, interchain accounts, and shared security, which are interoperability solutions that will enable all these applications to scale. Um, custom pre-compile contracts by allowing uh, stateful pre-compile contracts to be able to call staking logic that is included in the uh, staking module on the SDK, uh, IVC functionality, slashing, for example, to allow um, zero collateral uh, uh, lending protocols by allowing the uh, lending protocols to, to slash the stake that is already locked into the protocol. Um, AVCI++, which is a new version of Tendermint AVCI for uh, consensus, and of course, uh, liquid staking natively enabled as uh, Cosmos module. You can also enable new use cases. For example, Sommelier, which is an Ethereum core processor that allows you to manage the liquidity provision that you provision into Uniswap or Aave on Ethereum, um, that now relies on another bridge uh, called Gravity to uh, manage those liquidity positions. Um, those, can be, those applications can be natively deployed to Evmos so that, for example, non a uh, chain like Sommelier can uh, interact natively with all these applications that are deployed on Evmos without any loss of um, 
this will provide, for example, better um, uh, solutions in terms of latency. You'll be able to expand your user base into non-EVM compatible chains in the Cosmos ecosystem through IVC. Um, in this particular case, a module on the new Cosmos chain is able to call a specific smart contract that is deployed in Evmos, for example, Aave here. Um, you are also able to expand to new use cases, for example, interchain accounts, which is a new mechanism for how accounts are managed across different uh, chains in the Cosmos ecosystem. This allows a um, single account that can control all your addresses on the interchain. So, for example, on Evmos, you'll be able to use a single Gnosis safe to control not only, um, not only the EVM assets, the ERC20s, NFTs, uh, and Evmos tokens, but also manage all your uh, portfolio tokens in the entire Cosmos ecosystem. Um, this enables uh, transactions with a streamlined user experience without having to change the wallet. Um, and this is a massive UX improvement, because then you can route transactions based on the shortest path or the cheapest path, uh, depending on how the topology of the connections of the chains are created. This can be a massive UX improvement for users, because um, as I mentioned before, you don't need to switch networks. You can create a true smart, smart wallet based on this um, routing. And then revelop per revenue. Uh, instead of burning the EIP-1559 base fee, Evmos allocates that as developer revenue by uh, splitting the base fee, in this case, 50-50 with validators and uh, developers. So every time you, uh, as a user, are interacting with a smart contract on Evmos that has been registered by the developer team, you're getting 50% of those transaction fees. This is able to change the um, paradigm of how these applications earn revenue in the first place and completely changes the uh, strategy of deploying to multiple different chains into a seamless, seamless interchain strategy where you will be able to deploy on Evmos first and then connect to all these different chains in the ecosystem via interoperability. We want developers to earn revenue and not have to worry about multiple integrations. And then, of course, expanding the, use, the, the user base um, into the Cosmos ecosystem, which is one of the largest and fastest growing ecosystems in the space right now, besides the Ethereum ecosystem. Here we can see a Diffusion, which is a, a, a fork of Univ2 that has been deployed on Evmos, that is already using native Cosmos tokens that, has been, that have been represented as ERC20s on the Evmos EVM. Um, so th now you can access to even more liquidity by deploying on Evmos. Um, and here you can see, for example, how we support different uh, ecosystem uh, tokens, uh, for example, the uh, USDC from multiple chains. And also now we integrated uh, more than, I think, four different IVC ecosystem chains uh, and their tokens. In terms of user experience, we also integrated EIP-712 so that the users from the Ethereum ecosystem don't have to change their user experience by using a new wallet. Um, now you can even send IVC transactions to other Cosmos chain by leveraging uh, MetaMask and EIP-712 uh, metatransactions. You can integrate seamlessly with uh, Cosmos via interoperability, and we offer also a block time of less than two seconds. Last time I checked, it was 1.8. This also offers a better user experience for the end users that are interacting with your applications. Um, the second one is traction. Uh, we are creating the Evmos DApp Store, which is a decentralized marketplace for DApp developers and users in the same way that you go to the App Store and you can see different leaderboards, curated content for all the different applications, and also a special recommendation based on the usage of your wallet account and um, provide you different suggestions for how you can uh, use different applications in the Evmos ecosystem. We also, besides the developer revenue, the other way that we provide incentives is to users by allocating 25% of the newly minted Evmos tokens to incentivize users that are, are interacting with governance-approved smart contracts. So for example, if you deploy your application to Evmos 
and create a governance proposal that has been approved, your users will be earning all these EVMOS tokens um, from these usage incentives. And they will, by paying on, on the fees for each transaction, you'll be getting directly uh, revenue from, um, from every usage that all these users are interacting with the protocol. So EVMOS is creating uh, economic alignment between all the different users uh, through transaction fees for developers, for developer revenue. Uh, validators are aligned through transaction fees and block rewards. And users are aligned through smart contract user incentives, staking, and also liquidity provisioning. And the third, uh, the third step of how to scale your applications by first deploying an EVMOS, getting traction, and, th and, th and the third one is scale, is um, scaling into your own application-specific chain. We talked in the past that deploying your own chain is mostly a business development effort than an engineering effort. You can fork guess, you can fork any open source code and get started with that. But if you don't have the basic integrations, if you don't have the basic infrastructure, the Oracle providers, and all, all the indexers, custodians, dev tools, analytics, RPC infrastructure, et cetera, you won't kickstart your new EVM compatible chain. So how do we allow all these new projects, like for example, DYDX that um, migrated from the EVM ecosystem into their own application-specific chain on Cosmos to also replicate the same mechanism for scaling without having to suffer the same, or with ha without having to go through the same steps. Um, that's why Evmos is allowing the interchain, um, interchain staking, uh, which is the same mechanism for shared security as Pocket has. So with this, you can retain the EVM equivalents and use Evmos as a main infrastructure hub and connect to those applications directly via IVC. And this, how it, this is how it would look like. You will be getting all this traction and then scaling into your own EVM-specific chain. And that's the term that we coined for these uh, new chains that are spinning out from Evmos. And still use the core infrastructure that is deployed in Evmos. You don't have to do any business integration, business developer uh, integration from scratch, because you can use native interoperability to talk to all these smart contracts, infrastructure providers that are deployed on Evmos. So that's how we are allowing all these applications to scale, grow, and mature by using Evmos and shared security. Um, ultimately, we want these applications to grow, to scale, to get revenue and to get a larger user base. And we are allowing that through all these um, integrations, IVC, and also by maintaining the core EVM library in the Cosmos ecosystem that is called Ethermint. And to ensure the success of these new chains that are spinning out from Evmos into their own chain, um, we are creating an exit strategy for them. They can still use all the Evmos decentralized applications via IVC, um, infrastructure and services, and we're also creating an interchain package for this chain. We're allowing them, uh, we're creating uh, airdrop tooling so that they can select, uh, in the same way that we did, the gas Gasler contract on Evmos and other EVM compatible chains. They can select the staking eligibility, the LP elig uh, liquidity provisioning eligibility, and create their airdrop checker. You can also export the state from the EVM directly by taking the uh, accounts, the balances, and the smart contract code and state into their own, um, into the new chain, and then uh, start the, the chain from there. Uh, and and we're going to be creating all these tools for user acquisitions, like I mentioned, like the AirDop um, uh, and eligibility checker. And also, the way that we, it will work is we'll Evmos will get commissioned for the usage and adoption of all these infrastructure chains. So besides opening the, your applications to the EVM ecosystem, you're opening it to the entire Cosmos ecosystem, and that includes the EVM-specific chains that are spinning out. Um, you'll be able to interact with them via IVC natively and expand your user base on um, revenue by allowing all these applications to interact with your DAP on Evmos or your new sovereign EVM compatible chain. 
thank you very much and offer open for any questions now. Don't be shy, guys. So, no, okay, I see one person over there. Uh, wait for the microphone. Probably a simple question. I guess can, can people starting out just use Remix, uh, MetaMask, and, and you know, maybe, maybe connect through to MetaMask and, and deploy, deploy an easy contract, or do we, do we need special tooling? Uh, it's fully EVM equivalent, and the sense of uh, you can still use uh, MetaMask, Remix, and every single EVM tooling that is compatible with Ethereum right now. Um, we didn't change any of the existing opcodes or the EVM. Um, you just like plug and play the same way that you can do it with other uh, chains in the ecosystem. Someone else? Goes once, goes twice. All right, soul to the highest bidder. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.